Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Back with another video. Today, out in the bush again, and we're going to be making an Apache throwing star and having a bit of lunch. So today, knife I bought is my primitive stone tracker. And uh, yeah, we're just going to use this to make an Apache throwing stuff. So we're going to be a bit of fun. Let's get started. Alright guys, so there's all this um, downed bits of trees and stuff from when the big pine tree came down. So I'm going to gather up some of this to use an Apache, use as, use to make an Apache throwing stuff. So I'm going to need two bits that are similar. Um, I'm thinking this will do. I'm just trying to find the best, what I think will work the best, but um, yeah, I think I'm going to chop it here. Alright guys, so I just moved spots because it was um, on a real steep slope back where we were. So, got the uh, stick that I'm going to use for my Apache throwing stick. Throwing star, sorry. And, um, yeah, this very rotten and punky, but there's a solid bit here, so it'll be my seat. It's getting pretty warm. And there was a bit of rain coming. We did have a little bit, but sky sun's come out and it's beautiful blue skies now. So honestly, I really don't know the weather, but take off those layers and yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so got the stick. I'm gonna chop it in the middle here, but I think I'm just gonna debark it first.
Alright guys, so this isn't a tutorial, it's just me having fun, playing around. Um, you might be able to follow along, this isn't a particularly hard project, but it's good fun. Um, yeah, so not a tutorial, but just me having fun and videoing it for you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So cool. Alright guys, got most of the bark off. Um, I've left this middle bit with bark on just because that's where I'm about to split it. Even though there's a knot there, but should be no problem for the tracker. So yeah, gotta split this into two, and yeah, they're pretty pre even lengths, so that'll work well. Also I might try to straighten this one out. She's a bit curvy. That's all good. Right, so, got our two pieces, now you just got to split down the ends, so they're, not split down, sorry, um, chop down the ends, so they're nice and pointy, and then notch the middles to make a, um, join. Alright guys, so I've got my two sticks mostly sharpened. They're not quite sharp or pointy yet, but um, I'll finish it off near the end. But now, it's time for lunch, because I am hungry. Alright guys, so for food today I've got this uh, three minute pasta stuff um, and then I just got my heavy cover canteen, carpet lids and the little gas canister stove. So, let's get some water on the go. So the little clicky thing doesn't, the little uh, igniter thingy doesn't work on this gas cooker, but um, I got a lighter, so we're all good. And I left one of the stands in, because it makes it um, easier, more secure for my canteen cup to sit on.
Oh man, I am hungry. So this spoon I'm using, it is, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen um, me uh, pictures of this of um, when I carved it. Uh, yeah, so it was just done with a tracker. Not that tracker, and not my other tracker. Actually, it's one you guys haven't seen. It's a little mini tracker pup, so it's a um, small little tracker, but it's fun to use. And uh, yeah, just carved this up, carved up the spoon. Not real pretty or anything, but functional and not too bad. So yeah. It was a lovely day. It was looking pretty grey and like it was going to rain earlier, but it's turned out beautiful. Blue skies, hardly any wind, good temperature. See, it's lovely. Perfect time to be out in the bush. Alright, guys, so finished my lunch. It's pretty good. There was actually a decent serving in there. Um, so I'm cleaning that out later, but I want to get this. I want to get this Apache throne star finished. So um, yeah, we're gonna get onto that. Basically, all I need to do is cut like some notches in uh, these bits of wood to make a join, so they like sandwich together, like that, and then bind them together. Uh, so yeah. Alright guys, so we've got the joins done. Um, I did get a wee bit carried away on this one. So there's a little bit of movement, but it should be alright. Um, holds in there. So now I'm just gonna make up some uh, natural cordage. I think I'm gonna use cabbage leaves for that, just cause there's a cabbage tree where I can see, and um, yeah, it doesn't make too bad cordage. So we use that for the cordage, and we'll just do a simple square lashing to hold it there. So yeah, um, and then we gotta sharpen up the points and then have a bit of fun throwing it. Alright guys, so there is a cabbage tree right here, but there's this mini one that's fallen down here. So um, I'm gonna use this one because the green leaves always seem to work better. So let's just grab some of these. Oh.
So this isn't a tutorial on how to reverse wrap. Um, yeah, so I am doing the reverse wrap to make this cordage. So, um, yeah, no, just Google reverse wrap natural cordage or reverse wrap cordage or something. And I'm sure you'll get heaps of hits on uh, how to do it. But we got got some. I'm going to need a lot more. So just, just working away. Alright guys, so I finished up my cordage. I probably got about just under or about two meters of it. So uh, yeah, took me a while and uh, fingers are pretty green and stained. But um, yeah, nah, all good. So got our cordage and now we just gotta lash our um, Apache throwing stick together. That's what we're making, that's right. All right. Alright, so we're gonna join it together. Try and make it square. Now, we're gonna do a clove hitch. Right, I'm just gonna chop the end off there because it's gonna be in the way. Clove hitch on one of these. So yeah, time is off with the clovitch. If you want to learn how to do a clovitch, I'm sure there's a bajillion videos on it on YouTube. So yeah, clovitch, and now I'm gonna do a square lashing. And yeah, so a square lashing. I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna do it. Might be able to follow along, but there's probably 10,000 tutorials on how to do a square lashing on um, YouTube, so, yeah. Alright, so, got our Apache throwing star. I just gotta sharpen up the points now. And then we're done. Turns out pretty good. Pretty solid. Um, yeah. Got them all nice and pointy now. Now let's have some fun throwing it. Alright guys, so we've got my throwing start here. We're going to be throwing at this rotten tree over here. Let me show you. So, this rotten tree there. Might try to find something else to throw. Um, lashing's coming a bit loose, so, but it's holding it on there, so should work right if I can just actually hit something. All right, guys, yeah, give this a shot. It's the same tree, just a slightly different section. I mean, the wings in, just not. And again. So I get this, you have to do this lashing up soon, it's coming loose. Oh! 
I think you can see this. Yeah, I think you can. A couple more goes and that's gonna break. Oh, that did go in. No. Oh. My cordage broke. So, uh, you have to try fix it up. I'm just gonna try tie it up real quick. Just to keep throwing it for a little bit. I don't have enough to do a lashing it right now. I could. No. We're just rough as guts. Got to tie back together. Let's keep starting again. That last one throw. I'll tie it back together again. Alright, not gonna last very long, but back together. Back in again. Oh my god. See it right there. I threw it and then it came loose again. I was just like, it was like dangling. Yep, dangling, so I was like, yep, I'll just throw it once more with the dangly bits. And, um, yeah. Choice. The one time I actually get it in. Still get a photo out of it. Alright guys, so, got the tracker. And um, yeah, it was a bit of fun. Made an Apache throwing star with it. Not much of a Apache throwing star anymore. But um, yeah, perfectly usable still. I might take these bits home and um, yeah, I just gotta make more cordage for it. But I won't do that today, because it took a while to make. Took a while to make that, but um, yeah. Just a tight lashing, I think. A bit stronger cordage, maybe braided or something. I don't know, we'll um, keep better. If my joints have been a bit better, it would stop the wobbling, but that, yeah, with a tight lashing, it would have worked pretty well. But yeah, um, it's fun throwing it while it lasted. And yeah, cool. All right, so, I've just got to uh, clean my cup from um, lunch. And yeah, we're all good. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next video.